Wait, before we start, do you want a bundle of 30 printable Persian PDF cheat sheets? Teaching you words and phrases for conversations for free? Then click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get access. سلام به همگی. من آنیتا هستم. سیزده به در یا روز طبیعت نام سیزدهمین روز ماه فروردین یا آخرین روز تعطیلات عید نوروز در ایران است که در آن مردم خانه های خود را ترک کرده به داخل طبیعت می روند تا روز را با شادی و گردش دست جمعی دور هم سپری کنند. در این ویدیو خواهید دید که در گذشته مردم در این روز از خانه خارج می شدند تا نحسی عدد سیزده را از خود دور کنند. ولی اکنون برای دادن پایانی خوش به عید با طبیعت آشتی کرده در فضای سبز آن می نشینند. آیا می دانید که باور ناخجستگی و نحسی روز سیزده به در چرا پدید آمده است؟ جواب را در آخر این ویدیو به شما نشان خواهیم داد. از روزگاران قدیم، گذراندن سیزده به در در داخل طبیعت میان ایرانیان مرسوم بوده است. اکثر خانواده ها به پارک یا کنار رودخانه ای رفته، سفره را روی زمین پهن می کنند. در کنار هم به صرف غذا و چایی پرداخته و از زیبایی طبیعت لذت می برند. گاهی اوقات نیز با فعالیت های شاد نظیر پخش موسیقی و ورزش روز خود را به شب می رسانند. در حقیقت این روز تبدیل به خاطره شیرین از پایان تعطیلات و آغازی پر انرژی برای تلاش و کوشش دوباره می شود. مراسم دیگری که در گذشته در روز سیزدهم بهار وجود داشته دعا و ستایش ایزد باران به نام تیشتر بوده است. گویا در آن زمان مردم برای نابودی خشکسالی و طلب باران در سال جدید در این روز به دشت و صحرا و یا کنار چشمه و رود می رفتند و سرسبزی و برکت را آرزو می کردند. همچنین سبزه سفره هفسین را به عنوان هدیه به رودخانه یا آب روان سپرده تقدیم به ایزد باران می کردند که این رسم از آن دوره به یاد مانده و هنوز هم مردم سبزه یا ماهی قرمز خود را در سیزده بدر به آب می سپارند. یکی از آینهای رایج و دلپسند مردم در سیزده بدر گره زدن سبزه است. اکثر دختران و گاهی پسران جوان سبزه طبیعت را گره می زنند تا به زودی بختشان باز شده ازدواج کنند سرچشمه این باور نخستین ازدواج در داستانهای قدیمی ایرانی است طبق این روایات فرزندان پادشاهی به نام کیومرس برای اولین بار پیمان ازدواج خود را از طریق گره زدن سبزه پایگذاری کردند و این رسم را برای آیندگان به ارمغان آوردند اصطلاحی وجود دارد به نام دروغ سیزده که به دروغی که در روز سیزده به در به شوخی گفته می شود اشاره دارد. این دروغ بسیار شبیه دروغ اول آوریل است و از آنجایی که در تقویم نیز این دو تنها یک روز اختلاف دارند کاملا ممکن است از یکدیگر تأثیر پذیرفته باشند. و حالا جواب سوال اخیر را به شما می دهم. آیا می دانید که باور ناخجستگی و نحسی روز سیزده به در چرا پدید آمده است؟ گویا در گذشته های دور، یک بار در روز سیزدهم بهار زمین لرزه سهمگین روی داده که خانه ها را ویران کرده است. از آن زمان به بعد این واقع در ذهن مردم باقی مانده و به اشتباه این روز را نحس می پندارند و خانه خود را ترک می کنند. این درس چطور بود؟ چیز جالبی یاد گرفتید؟ آیا در محل زندگی شما نیز روزی شبیه سیزده به در وجود دارد؟ نظر خود را برای ما به persianpod101.com ارسال کنید. به امید دیدار در درس بعدی.
In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Persian. Hi everybody, my name is Mega. Welcome to the 800 Core Persian Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Persian. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, you will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at persianpod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Persian. Okay, let's get started. First is Khandidan Laf Khandidan Khandidan Laf Khandidan be yek joke Laf at a joke Khandidan be yek joke Khoshmaza Delicious خوشمزه خوشمزه دلشز یک همبرگر ممکنه برای سلامتی شما خوب نباشه ولی خوشمزه است A hamburger might not be good for your health but it is delicious یک همبرگر ممکنه برای سلامتی شما خوب نباشه ولی خوشمزه است. آب water آب آب water می شود لطفاً کمی آب به من بدهید؟ Can I have some water please? می شود لطفاً کمی آب به من بدهید؟ چای Tea. Chai. Chai. Tea. Zan chai minushad. The woman is drinking tea. Zan chai minushad. Kahve. Coffee. Kahve. قهوه کافی من قهوه ام را تلخ دوست دارم I like my coffee black من قهوه ام را تلخ دوست دارم آبجو بیر آبجو آبجو بیر بطری آبجو bottle of beer بطری آبجو شراب wine شراب شراب wine شراب در گیلاس ریخته می شود. Wine is being poured into the glass. شراب در گیلاس ریخته می شود. گوشت گاو Beef گوشت گاو گوشت گاو Beef گوشت گاو برای غذای اصلی Beef for the main course گوشت گاو برای غذای اصلی مرغ Chicken مرغ مرغ Chicken من از پوست مرغ خوشم نمی آید. I don't like chicken skin. 
من از پوست مرغ خوشم نمی آید. گوشت خوک پرک گوشت خوک گوشت خوک پرک در ایران رستوران ها و هتل ها اجازه ندارند الکل و گوشت خوک سرو کنند. In Iran, restaurants and hotels aren't permitted to serve alcohol and pork. در ایران رستوران ها و هتل ها اجازه ندارند الکل و گوشت خوک سرو کنند. ماهی فش ماهی ماهی فش مردم ژاپن خیلی ماهی میخورند. Japanese people eat a lot of fish. مردم ژاپن خیلی ماهی میخورند. گوشت بره. لم. گوشت بره. گوشت بره. لم. گوشت بره بسیار خوشمزه است. Lam is extremely delicious. گوشت بره بسیار خوشمزه است. دکتر 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 پا را معاینه می کند. The doctor is examining the foot. دکتر پا را معاینه می کند. افسر پلیس. Police officer. افسر پلیس. افسر پلیس. Police officer. افسر پلیس از راننده سوال می‌پرسد. The police officer is questioning the driver. افسر پلیس از راننده سوال می‌پرسد. معلم teacher معلم معلم teacher معلم زبان انگلیسی English teacher معلم زبان انگلیسی کارمند employee کارمند کارمند employee کارمند زن female employee کارمند زن آمدن کام آمدن آمدن کام به سمت دوربین ویدیو آمدن Come toward the video camera. به سمت دوربین ویدیو آمدن. دیدن. سی. دیدن. دیدن. سی. از دیدن شما خوشحالم. Good to see you. از دیدن شما خوشحالم. درست کردن. Make. درست کردن. درست کردن. Make. 
مادرم در آشپزخانه قهوه درست می کند. My mother makes coffee in the kitchen. مادرم در آشپزخانه قهوه درست می کند. استفاده کردن Use استفاده کردن استفاده کردن Use استفاده کردن از کامپیوتر Use a computer استفاده کردن از کامپیوتر Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at persianpod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Khada hafiz. Did you download your free PDF cheat sheets yet? These conversation cheat sheets are an easy way to speak more because you get cheat sheets for conversational topics like the weather, family, hobbies, and much more. And inside, you'll learn common questions and answers that you'd use in conversations, as well as tons of vocabulary. Don't miss out on this free gift. Click the link in the description to get access. How are your Persian listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? یک مرد و زن در رستوران در حال نگاه کردن به منو هستند. مرد چه چیزی می خواهد سفارش بدهد؟ شما چه چیزی می خواهید سفارش بدهید؟ پیتزا خوشمزه به نظر می رسد. آن را انتخاب می کنم. من دیروز پیتزا خوردم. در نتیجه؟ خب، پس همبرگر چطور؟ خوب به نظر می رسد. من آن را انتخاب می کنم. مرد چه چیزی می خواهد سفارش بدهد؟ یک مرد و زن در رستوران در حال نگاه کردن به منو هستند. مرد چه چیزی می خواهد سفارش بدهد؟ شما چه چیزی می خواهید سفارش بدهید؟ پیتزا خوشمزه به نظر می رسد. آن را انتخاب می کنم. من دیروز پیتزا خوردم. در نتیجه؟ خب، پس همبرگر چطور؟ خوب به نظر می رسد. من آن را انتخاب می کنم. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Persian. Hi everybody, my name is Nega. Welcome to the 800 core Persian words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Persian. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at persianpod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Persian. Okay, let's get started. First is... Sag Dog Sag Sag Dog ببخشید شما سگ منو ندیدین؟ Excuse me, have you seen my dog? ببخشید شما سگ منو ندیدین؟ گربه Cat 
گربه گربه کت رد پای یک گربه در برف به جا مانده است. The footprints of a cat are left in the snow. رد پای یک گربه در برف به جا مانده است. همستر 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 کوچک است. The hamster is small. همستر کوچک است. گرم warm گرم گرم warm پوشیدن لباس گرم در زمستان لازم است. Wearing warm clothes in winter is necessary. پوشیدن لباس گرم در زمستان لازم است. باران Rain باران باران Rain باران در خیابان می بارد. The rain is falling on the street. باران در خیابان می بارد. گوجه فرنگی Tomato گوجه فرنگی گوجه فرنگی Tomato همیشه تو این غذا گوجه فرنگی می ریزم. I always put tomato in this food. همیشه تو این قضا گوجه فرنگی می ریزم. توت فرنگی Strawberry توت فرنگی توت فرنگی Strawberry شما می توانید توت فرنگی را در تمام طول سال بخرید. اما در تابستان بهترین تمرا دارند. You can buy strawberries all year round, but they taste best in the summer. شما می توانید توت فرنگی را در تمام طول سال بخرید. اما در تابستان بهترین تم را دارند. گیلاس چری گیلاس گیلاس چری ایران سومین تولید کننده گیلاس در جهان پس از ترکیه و آمریکا می باشد. ایران is the third largest producer of cherries in the world after Turkey and the US. ایران سومین تولید کننده گیلاس در جهان پس از ترکیه و آمریکا می باشد. بچه child بچه بچه child وقتی بچه بودم هر روز با دوچرخم به مدرسه می رفتم. When I was a child, I used to ride my bike to school every day. وقتی بچه بودم هر روز با دوچرخه ام به مدرسه می رفتم. دوست Friend دوست دوست Friend بیش از یک دوست روی شما حساب می کنم. I think of you as more than a friend. بیش از یک دوست روی شما حساب می کنم. بزرگ سال Adult بزرگ سال بزرگ سال Adult شما دیگه یه بزرگ سال هستید و می تونید خودتون تصمیم بگیرید. You are already an adult and can make decisions by yourself. شما دیگه یک 
بزرگ سال هستید و میتونید خودتون تصمیم بگیرید. دوچرخه بایسیکل دوچرخه دوچرخه بایسیکل باید یک دوچرخه کرایه کنم. I must rent a bicycle. باید یک دوچرخه کرایه کنم. اتومبیل کار اتومبیل اتومبیل کار برادر او در یک تصادف اتومبیل بود. Her brother was in a car accident. برادر او در یک تصادف اتومبیل بود. موتورسیکلت موتورسایکل موتورسیکلت موتورسیکلت موتورسایکل او دو اتومبیل و یک موتورسیکلت دارد. He has two cars and a motorcycle. او دو اتومبیل و یک موتورسیکلت دارد. اسکوتر 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 یک نفر اسکوتر مرا دزدید. Somebody stole my scooter. یک نفر اسکوتر مرا دزدید. قایق بوت قایق قایق بوت بیا یک قایق کرایه کنیم. Let's rent a boat. بیا یک قایق کرایه کنیم. عروس دریایی جلیفش عروس دریایی عروس دریایی جلیفش عروس دریایی مغز ندارد جلیفش don't have a brain عروس دریایی مغز ندارد لابستر 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 خیلی گران است لابستر آر ویری اکسپنسیف لابستر خیلی گران است خرچنگ کرپ خرچنگ خرچنگ کرپ خرچنگ ها به پهلو راه می روند. Crabs walk sideways. خرچنگ ها به پهلو راه می روند. لاک پشت. Turtle. لاک پشت. لاک پشت. Turtle. لاک پشت ها ممکن است تا 80 سال عمر کنند. Turtles may live to 80 years. لاکپوشت ها ممکن است تا 80 سال عمر کنند. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at persianpod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Khoda Hafez. Hi everyone, I'm Gabriella. How are your Persian listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready?
مردی دنبال یک هدیه تولد برای همسرش در یک جواهر فروشی است. مرد می خواهد کدام گردن بند را بخرد؟ می توانم کمکتان کنم؟ من به دنبال یک هدیه تولد برای همسرم هستم. پیشنهاد شما چیست؟ خب، این گردن بند چطور است؟ مم، یک مقدار بلند به نظر می رسد. اینهایی که اینجا هستند چطور؟ ما یکی با آویز گل داریم و یکی با آویز قلب. من دنبال چیز سطح بالاتری می گردم. قیمت آن گردم بند مروارید که آنجاست چند است؟ پانزده میلیون تومان. مم، آن خیلی گران است. باشه، من همان اولی را بر می دارم. حتما، بفرمایید. مرد می خواهد کدام گردم بند را بخرد؟ مردی دنبال یک هدیه تولد برای همسرش در یک جواهر فروشی است. مرد می خواهد کدام گردم بند را بخرد؟ می توانم کمکتان کنم؟ من به دنبال یک هدیه تولد برای همسرم هستم. پیشنهاد شما چیست؟ خب، این گردم بند چطور است؟ مم، یک مقدار بلند به نظر می رسد. اینهایی که اینجا هستند چطور؟ ما یکی با آویز گل داریم و یکی با آویز قلب. من دنبال چیز سطح بالاتری می گردم. قیمت آن گردم بند مروارید که آنجاست چند است؟ پانزده میلیون تومان. مم، آن خیلی گران است. باشه، من همان اولی را بر می دارم. Hatman, befarmaid. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Now that you're finished with this lesson, don't forget, as a free bonus, you get over 30 conversation cheat sheets, but only if you sign up via the link in the description. You'll learn how to have flowing conversations and how to answer the most common questions. You can also print out these colorful cheat sheets to keep as physical study material. So don't miss out on this free gift. Click the link in the description and sign up for a free lifetime account to get your PDF cheat sheets. Hi everyone, I'm Gabriella. How are your Persian listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Zani dar kitab furushi chizi az furushande mi khahad. An zan kodam kitab ra mi khahad bebinad? Bebakhshid. من می خواهم به کتابی که روی آن قفسه است نگاهی بیاندازم. کدام کتاب را می خواهید؟ آن که در مورد اتومبیل هاست. یه لحظه لطفا. این؟ بله، همان. بفرمایید. آن زن کدام کتاب را می خواهد ببیند؟ زنی در کتاب فروشی چیزی از فروشنده می خواهد. آن زن کدام کتاب را می خواهد ببیند؟ ببخشید، من می خواهم به کتابی که روی آن قفسه است نگاهی بیاندازم. کدام کتاب را می خواهید؟ آن که در مورد اتومبیل هاست. یه لحظه لطفا. این؟ بله، همان. بفرمایید. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Salam Bahamegi. Man Anita Hasta. Hi everybody, I'm Anita. Welcome to PersianPod101.com's Persian in 3 Minutes, 
the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Persian. In the last lesson, we learned how to count in Persian. I hope you spend some time practicing the numbers, because they will come in handy today. We're going to learn how to go shopping in Iran, or any Persian-speaking country. Before we go, you need to know how to say, how much is it? If you want to know the exact translation, it would be, چقدر است? چقدر است? But normally, in Iran, we use this instead. چند است? چند است? Are you ready to go shopping in Iran? Let's go! You see something you like and want to ask the shop clerk how much it costs. The first thing to say is, Babakshid. Do you remember what that means? Excuse me. Babakshid. In chand ast. Babakshid. In chand ast. We need to ask this question while pointing at something. Asking, how much is this? Or that? That's why we need to add either this or that before chand ast. Since Persian is a gender-neutral language, you will only use this or that, as in English. It always agrees between genders. This, in, that, on. How much is this? In chandas. In, chand, ast. How much is that? On chandas. On, chand. Asked. Now, if you want to put an object in here, remember that you always put an object or a noun after this and that. For example, if you want to ask for the price of a hat, kola, near you, it would be bebakhshid, in kola chand ast. Excuse me, how much is this hat? Bebakhshid, in kola chand ast. And if it was a bit further, you would say, Bebakhshid, on kola chand ast. Excuse me, how much is that hat? Bebakhshid, on kola chand ast. At this point, the shop clerk can answer by saying the price. The currency in Iran is toman. For example, in sat toman ast. This is a hundred tomans. In, sad, toman, ast. Or he will just simply answer, sad, toman. Now it's time for Anita's advice. A quicker way to ask how much is chande. So when you ask for a coffee or a kahve at a cafe, you can ask, yek kahve lotfan, chande. One coffee, please. How much is it? At this point, can you count tomans in Persian? We are going to learn how to do this and much more in the next lesson. I'll be waiting for you in our next Persian in 3 minutes lesson. Khodafez! Trying to learn Persian? You need a PersianPod101.com free lifetime account. It's one of the most powerful language learning tools you can command and signing up takes less than seven seconds. So what exactly do you get that makes it so special? First, new lessons are published every week, and you get them for free. Enjoy learning with fun and effective audio and video lessons with real teachers. Make the most of your study time as our teachers help you hack Persian and get you speaking in minutes. Second, free instant access to the first three lessons of every lesson series. Explore and try any lesson series that interests you, from beginner to advanced. Find teachers you love and lessons for your goals. Third, learn Persian anywhere, anytime with the free companion app. Download it now for free for the iPhone, iPad, or any Android device, and have instant access to your free lifetime account and lessons anywhere, anytime. Fourth, Boost your vocabulary with the free word of the day. Every day, receive one new word in your inbox that you can master in seconds. Want even more words? 5. Get complete access to our word and phrase lists. 
Wow native Persian speakers with cool topical and seasonal words and phrases from our lists. And finally, number six, the best for last. Seven days of unlimited access to our entire library of audio and video lessons. Premium study tools like Line by Line Audio, Word Bank, and Smart Flashcards to help you learn lightning fast. Get your free lifetime account right now at persianpod101.com. Sign up in less than seven seconds. And the account is yours for free for life. So what are you waiting for? Get yours now. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Persian. Hi everybody, my name is Nega. Welcome to the 800 core Persian words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Persian. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, you will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at persianpod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Persian. Okay, let's get started. First is... Emruz. Today. Emruz. Emruz. Today. O Emruz Gamgin Benazar Miresad. She looks sad today. O Emruz Gamgin Benazar Miresad. Diruz. Yesterday. Diruz. Diruz. Yesterday. دیروز مرخصی گرفتم. I took a day off yesterday. دیروز مرخصی گرفتم. فردا tomorrow فردا فردا tomorrow فردا شما را می بینم. See you tomorrow. فردا شما را می بینم. هفته. Week. هفته. هفته. Week. این هفته سرم شلوغ است. I'm busy this week. این هفته سرم شلوغ است. سال year سال سال year سال کبیسه leap year سال کبیسه سانیه second سانیه سانیه second برای ده سانیه for ten seconds برای ده سانیه دقیقه minute دقیقه دقیقه minute یک دقیقه به نیمه شب است it's one minute to midnight یک دقیقه به نیمه شب است ساعت hour 
ساعت ساعت hour من هر روز هشت ساعت می خوابم. I sleep for eight hours every day. من هر روز هشت ساعت می خوابم. ساعت clock ساعت ساعت clock ساعت دیواری به دیوار آویخته شده است. The wall clock is hanging on the wall. ساعت دیواری به دیوار آویخته شده است. ساعت o'clock. ساعت ساعت o'clock. دوستات ساعت هفت میان. Your friends will come at seven o'clock. دوستات ساعت هفت میان. تقویم. Calendar. تقویم. تقویم. Calendar. سالگردمان را روی تقویم علامت زدم. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. سالگردمان را روی تقویم علامت زدم. دوشنبه Monday دوشنبه دوشنبه Monday هفته کاری از دوشنبه آغاز می شود. The work week starts on Monday. هفته کاری از دوشنبه آغاز می شود. سهشنبه. Tuesday. سهشنبه. سهشنبه. Tuesday. سهشنبه اول ژانویه Tuesday January 1st سهشنبه اول ژانویه چهارشنبه Wednesday چهارشنبه چهارشنبه Wednesday شبهای چهارشنبه در خانه من پوکر بازی می کنیم. Wednesday nights we play poker at my house. شبهای چهارشنبه در خانه من پوکر بازی می کنیم. پنجشنبه Thursday پنجشنبه پنجشنبه فردا چهارشنبه است و پس فردا پنجشنبه. Tomorrow is Wednesday and the day after tomorrow is Thursday. فردا چهارشنبه است و پس فردا پنجشنبه. جمعه Friday. جمعه جمعه Friday. جمعه خود را چگونه گذراندید؟ How did you spend your Friday؟ جمعه خود را چگونه گذراندید؟ شنبه Saturday شنبه شنبه Saturday هر شنبه برای پنج ساعت کارهای خانه را انجام می دهم. I do housework every Saturday for five hours. هر شنبه برای پنج ساعت کارهای خانه را انجام می دهم. یک شنبه Sunday یک شنبه یک شنبه 
Sunday. Sobhane ye ruze yek shambe. Sunday morning breakfast. Sobhane ye ruze yek shambe. Anjam dadan. Do. Anjam dadan. Anjam dadan. کارهای زیادی برای انجام دادن دارم. I have so much work to do. کارهای زیادی برای انجام دادن دارم. رفتن Go رفتن رفتن Go زمان رفتن من به فرودگاه است. It's time for me to go to the airport. زمان رفتن من به فرودگاه است. Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at persianpod101.com. to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Khada Hafez. Salam ve hamegi. Man Anita hastam. در ایران سال جدید از اول بهار یا بیستم مارچ شروع می شود. همزمان با بیدار شدن طبیعت از خواب زمستانی و رویدن دوباره آن سال جدید نیز آغاز شده و انگار روزی نو از راه می رسد. به همین دلیل به آغاز سال نو در ایران نوروز می گویند. در این درس یاد می گیرید که در نوروز همه افراد خانواده دور سفره هفتین جمع شده به تبریک سال نو شادی صرف غذا و استراحت میپردازند آیا میدانید که اولین شام یا ناهار نوروز در ایران معمولا چیست جواب را در آخر این ویدیو به شما نشان خواهیم داد فعالیت های نوروزی در واقع مدت ها پیش از عید آغاز می شوند یکی از این فعالیت ها خانه تکانی است که با نزدیک شدن به سال جدید شروع شوق آن در میان مردم اوج می گیرد. در هر خانه ای اعضای خانواده شروع به نظافت، شستشو و مرتب کردن اطراف محل زندگی خود می شوند تا برای عید ظاهری تمیز و آراسته داشته باشند. به این اعمال خانه تکانی گفته می شود که به معنی تکاندن و زدودن گرد و قبار از خانه می باشد. سپس همگی با پوشیدن لباس های نو و یا تر و تمیز به انتظار تحویل سال جدید می نشینند. با شنیدن اسم نوروز به یاد سفره هفتین می افتیم. سفره هفتین عبارت است از مجموعه از اشیا و خوردنی هایی که روی میز یا پارچه ای می چینند و همگی با حرف سین از الفبای فارسی شروع می شوند. این اشیا که هر کدام نشانگر مفاهیم خاصی مانند خیر و برکت هستند معمولا عبارتند از سنجد، سیب، سبزه، سمنو، سیر، سرکه، سماق و سکه آینه، شم، ماهی قرمز، تخم مرغ رنگی و کتاب دیوان حافظ نیز از دیگر تزیینات سفره هفتین می باشند اعضای خانواده دور این سفره جمع شده عید را به یکدیگر تبریک میگویند و افراد مسنتر به جوانترها به عنوان عیدی اسکناس هدیه میدهند از مهمترین رسومی که از ایام قدیم برای نوروز به جا مانده است رفتن به عید دیدنی است در این ایام مردم به خانه اقوام دوستان و آشنایان خود میروند از مهمانان خود نیز با شیرینی و آرجیل و میوه پذیرایی می کنند و ساعت خوشی را در کنار هم سپری می کنند. همچنین سفر به شهرهای مختلف و رفتن به دامن طبیعت 
نیز از عادات دلپذیر مردم ایران در عید نوروز می باشد. به دین ترتیب مردم خود را برای سالی جدید سرشار از کار و فعالیت، شادی و موفقیت آماده می کنند. آیا می دانستید که برای نوروز نیز شخصتی شبیه به بابا نوئل وجود دارد؟ با نام امو نوروز، او نیز پیرمرد ریشدار مهربانی است که آمدن سال نو را به مردم خبر می دهد. شخصیت دیگری نیز با نام حاجی فیروز با چهره سیاه شده و لباس های قرمز و تبل کوچکی در دست در خیابان ها به رقص و آواز و شیرینکاری پرداخته مردم را سرگرم می کند. و حالا جواب سال اخیر را به شما می دهم. اولین غذای سال نو در ایران معمولا سبزی پلو با ماهی است. دلیل رواج این غذا آرزوی سرسبزی و زایش طبیعت، برکت برنج، جنب و جوش ماهی و نشانه شکرگزاری در سال جدید می باشد. این درس چطور بود؟ چیز جالبی یاد گرفتید؟ سال نو در کشور شما چطور برگزار می شود؟ نظر خود را برای ما به persianpod101.com ارسال کنید. به امید دیدار در درس بعدی. سلام به همگی. من آنیتا هستم. Hi everybody. I'm Anita. Welcome to PersianPod101.com's Persian in 3 Minutes, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Persian. In the last lesson, we learned the phrase Bebakhshid. Aya shoma ingilisi sohbat mikonid? Excuse me, do you speak English? We use the word Bebakhshid, which means excuse me in Persian. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to use Bebakhshid and other words when apologizing in Persian. Bebakhshid is used in situations like when we are ordering something in a restaurant or asking for something in a store and so on. For example, Bebakhshid, ye qahve lotfan. Excuse me, one coffee please. We can also use it when asking a question. Bebakhshid, takht jamshid kojas. Excuse me, where is Persepolis? Similar to English, there is no informal way to say excuse me in Persian. The meaning is already polite. Persian people just ask questions more directly when speaking to a friend. But to make it polite, you can add lotfan, meaning please, to the start or end of a phrase when asking for something. Lotfan yek qahve midi? Can you give me a coffee please? We also use bevakhshid in a sentence when apologizing. This can be used both formally and informally, but in a more casual situation, it can also be shortened to bebakhsh, as in, mara bebakhsh, forgive me, mara bebakhsh. Please note that the way we say this phrase is different than the way it's actually written. The proper way is, man ra bebakhsh. First we have the word man, or me. Next we insert ra which is always used grammatically after the object of a verb. In this case, it was me. Finally, we have the command verb bebakhsh, meaning you forgive. Man ra bebakhsh, you forgive me. But you will always hear it as mara bebakhsh. Now it's time for Anita's advice. In Persian, just like American English, we usually don't say excuse me when asking for something from a friend. But when we want to ask something or call upon a friend, like, hey, do you know? Or, look, what is? Persian people use bebin, which literally means look. It is very common in casual speech. Bebin, takht jamshid kojas. Hey, where is Persopolis? Can you count in Persian? In the next lesson, you will learn the numbers from one to 10. I'll be waiting for you in the next Persian in 3 minutes lesson. Khoda fez!
سلام به همگی. من آنیتا هستم. Hi everybody, I'm Anita. Welcome to PersianPod101.com's Persian in 3 Minutes. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Persian. In the last lesson, we learned the numbers from 1 to 10. Have you forgotten? Here, I'll tell you again. Yek, do, se, chahar, panj, shish, haft, hasht, no, da. And now, let's continue from 11. Yazda, yazda, davazda, davazda, sizda, sizda, chaharda, chaharda, punzda, punzda, shunzda, shunzda, hivda, hivda, hijda, Nuzda, Nuzda, and finally we have Bist. Bist. Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. Yazda, Davazda, Sizda, Chaharda. Punzda, Shunzda, Hivda, Hijda, Nuzda, Bist. Notice that all these numbers, except 20, have da in the end. These numbers may seem harder to remember, so you really just have to memorize them. Some of them look a lot like their base numbers, like charda and chahar, but others you will have to memorize. Luckily, you can get a hint from the similarities of their first letter to their base numbers, like ye in yek and yazda, de in do and davazda, s in sizda and se, and so on. Let's not stop at 20. Counting to 100 is super easy. Now I'll give you the tens. C, C, Chehel, Chehel, Panja, Panja, Shast, Shast, Haftad, Haftad, Hashtad, Hashtad, Navad. Navad, sad, sad. Again, some of these look like their base number, like panja, haftad, or hashtad. But others you could memorize by the similarities of their first letters to their base numbers. The last thing to learn today is how to form compound numbers above 20. This is also super easy. Take the tens and add any number from 1 to 9. Then, just put the particle O between them. So, how would you say 56 in Persian? Let's take it step by step. 50 is panja, and then you add the particle O in the middle, before adding 6, shesh. Panjo shesh. It's done. Isn't that easy? Let's make some more numbers. 21 Bisto yek 32 Sio do 97 Navado haft 101 Sado yek 110 Sado da 131 now it's time for Anita's advice. For numbers up to 100, you just need to memorize 1 through 19 and all the tens. If you remember them well, then you can easily make any number by adding an O between them. 
For beyond 100, it will be the same. You just need to memorize the hundreds. So when we made 131, we said 100, sad, the particle or, then 30, C, and another or, and finally 1, yek. So, what do you think 199 is in Persian? 100, sad, 90, navad, 9, no. So, sado navado no. After only two lessons, you are now able to count to 199 in Persian. In the next lesson, we're going to put your number knowledge to use. Do you have all the skills you need to go shopping in Iran? If not, I'll be waiting for you in our next Persian in 3 minutes lesson. Pas d'affaires. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Persian. Hi everybody, my name is Nega. Welcome to the 800 core Persian words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Persian. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, you will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you have learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at persianpod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Persian. Okay, let's get it started. First is... Salam. Hello. Salam. Salam. Hello. Hello. Salam. Mitunam ba ana sohbat konam? Hello, can I speak to Anna? Hello, salam. Mitunam ba Anna sohbat konam? Bebakhshid. Excuse me. Bebakhshid. Bebakhshid. Excuse me. Bebakhshid. Istgah Qatar kujast? Excuse me, where is the train station? Bebakhshid, istgah Qatar kujast? Mutasafam. I'm sorry. Mutasafam. Mutasafam. I'm sorry. متاسفم اون الان اینجا نیست. I'm sorry, he's not here right now. متاسفم او الان اینجا نیست. شب بخیر. Good night. شب بخیر. شب بخیر. Good night. الان میرم شب بخیر I'll go now good night الان میرم شب بخیر از دیدن شما خوش وقتم Nice to meet you از دیدن شما خوش وقتم از دیدن شما خوش وقتم Nice to meet you too. از دیدن شما خوش وقتم آقا. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. از دیدن شما خوش وقتم آقا. حال شما چطوره؟ How are you? حال شما چطوره؟ 
حال شما چطوره؟ How are you? خیلی وقت ندیدمتون. حال شما چطوره؟ It's been a long time. How are you? خیلی وقت ندیدمتون. حال شما چطوره؟ بله. Yes. بله. بله. Yes. بله. لطفاً با من تماس بگیر. Yes, please do contact me. بله. لطفاً با من تماس بگیر. خیر. No. خیر. خیر. No. خیر. هنوز غذا نخوردم. No, I haven't eaten yet. خیر. هنوز غذا نخورده ام. متشکرم. Thank you. متشکرم. متشکرم. Thank you. از کمکتان متشکرم. Thank you for your help. از کمکتان متشکرم. من هستم. I'm. من هستم. من هستم. I'm. من ماریا هستم. I'm Maria. من ماریا هستم. خدا حافظ. Goodbye. خدا حافظ. خدا حافظ. Goodbye. خدا حافظ. به زودی می بینمتون. Goodbye. See you soon. خدا حافظ. به زودی می بینمتون. بد. 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 او یک پسر بد است. He's a bad boy. او یک پسر بد است. خوب. Good. خوب. خوب. Good. سبزیجات برای سلامتی شما خوب است. Vegetables are good for your health. سبزیجات برای سلامتی شما خوب است. زیبا Pretty زیبا زیبا Pretty پیراهن شما خیلی زیبا است. Your dress is very pretty. پیراهن شما خیلی زیبا است. زشت. Ugly. زشت. زشت. Ugly. جوجه اردک زشت یک قوی زیبا شد. The ugly duckling became a beautiful swan. جوجه اردک زشت 
یک قوی زیبا شد. ساده ایزی ساده ساده ایزی فهمیدنش ساده است. It's easy to understand. فهمیدنش ساده است. سخت Difficult سخت سخت Difficult امتحان چهارشنبه سخت خواهد بود. Wednesday's test will be difficult. امتحان چهارشنبه سخت خواهد بود. نزدیک near نزدیک نزدیک near من نزدیک دانشگاه زندگی می کنم. I live near the university. من نزدیک دانشگاه زندگی می کنم. دور far دور دور far ایستگاه از اینجا دور است. The station is far from here. ایستگاه از اینجا دور است. کوچک small کوچک کوچک small اتاق من خیلی کوچک است. My room is very small. اتاق من خیلی کوچک است. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at persianpod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Khada hafez. Hi everyone. Do you know how to say I love you in Persian? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say it. Let's start with how to express your feelings to your loved one. دوستتان دارم. دوستتان دارم. دوستتان دارم. Or if you want to explain those butterflies in your stomach, you can say من بهت علاقه دارم. من بهت علاقه دارم. من بهت علاقه دارم. And when you feel that I love you is not enough, you can say کلمات از وصف عشق من به تو آجزند. کلمات از وصف عشق من به تو آجزند. کلمات از وصف عشق من به تو آجزند. You just learned three different ways to say I love you in Persian. And if you're interested in learning more, don't forget to download your free romance and love cheat sheet, which includes romantic words, compliments, and pickup lines. Check out the description below and go to persianpod101.com now. See you next time. Hi everyone. Do you know how to say thank you in Persian? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say it. Let's start with the easiest one. Mamnunam. Mamnunam. Another way to say thank you is Motashakiram.
متشکرم. Finally, here is a third way to express your gratitude. Merci. Merci. Okay, let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. Mamnunam. Mamnunam. Motashakera. Motashakera. Merci. Merci. Well done. You just learned three different ways to say thank you in Persian. And if you really want to become fluent and speak Persian from the very first lesson, go to persianpod101.com. See you next time. Welcome to persianpod101.com's Persian in 3 minutes. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Persian. Salam, man Anita. Az didanet khoshbakhta. Hi, I'm Anita. Nice to meet you. In this series, you're going to learn basic Persian expressions. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you will learn how to introduce yourself in Persian. There are only two sentences you need to learn. But first, it is important to clarify that in Persian, there is a difference between formal and informal language. First, let's see how Persian people introduce themselves in an informal situation. Salam, man Anita. Az didanet khoshbakhtam. Hi, I'm Anita. Nice to meet you. Salam, man Anita. Az didanet khoshbakhtam. Start by saying salam, which means hi. Then Say man, I, your name, and then am, which means to be or am. Salam, man anita am. Persian word order is different than English. Word for word, this literally means hi, I, Anita, am. Finally, say as didanet khoshbakhtam. This means nice to meet you. Salam, man Anita. Az didanet khoshbakhtam. Now let's look at the same sentence in formal speech. Salam, man Anita hastam. Az didanet shoma khoshbakhtam. Hello, I'm Anita. Nice to meet you. Salam, man Anita hastam. Az didanet shoma khoshbakhtam. So, what has changed from the informal introduction? Let's take a closer look. The informal man anita am has turned into man anita hastam. In both cases, man stands for I or me. Hastam means am and it's added to the end of the formal introduction instead of just am. Am is actually just the short version of hastam which is the to be verb conjugated for the first person. Finally, pay attention to how nice to meet you changes. We went from az didanet khoshbakhtam to az didane shoma khoshbakhtam. Here, didanet and didane shoma are different. Didanet is used when speaking informally to only one person. It is formed by adding et, meaning your, to the end of Didan, meaning seeing or meeting. In the formal version, instead of et, we add e shoma. Shoma is the formal word for you and can be used whether you're speaking to one person or a group of people. Once again, the informal way to introduce yourself in Persian is salam, man anita, as didanet khoshbakhtam. The formal way to introduce yourself is salam, man anita hastam. از دیدن شما خوشبختم. Now it's time for Anita's advice. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands in Persian culture. And if you're not sure whether to use از دیدنت خوشبختم or 
از دیدن شما خوشبختم. You can simply say خوشبختم. However, if you use the full correct sentence with Persian people, they're definitely going to be impressed. Do you know how to say thank you in Persian? You'll learn how to say this and many other words in the next lesson. Khadafez! Salam be hamegi. Man Anita hastam. Hi everybody. I'm Anita. Welcome to PersianPod101.com's Persian in three minutes, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Persian. In the last lesson, we learned how to show gratitude by saying thank you. In this lesson, we'll learn some of the most common greetings used in Iran. Are you ready? Then let's get started. The most commonly used informal greeting is salam. Salam. Salam means hi or hello. We use it when we meet someone or enter a room with people in it. We can use it as a greeting almost anywhere. After salam, we almost always say how are you when we greet friends or close relatives. It might seem strange to say it every time, but this is a part of normal everyday conversation in Persian. Let's try out the informal way of saying hello, how are you? Salam, chetori. Chetori. The I in chetori makes this sentence second person. The formal way becomes slightly longer. Add Hale shoma, which means your health. Salam, Hale shoma chetore. Hale shoma chetore. Hale shoma chetore literally means how is your health. We use the word shoma, you, instead of saying chetori to make this more formal. Now, if you remember the first lesson, adding et to a word made it informal. Therefore, if you add et to hal instead of e shoma, you make the whole sentence informal. Salam, halet chetore. Halet chetore. Notice that there are many ways of saying the same phrase in Persian, making it shorter or longer. But remembering the basic words will help you get through almost any conversation. Literally, salam means hello. We use other phrases too, but we always add salam at the start of a greeting. In the morning, we say salam, sob bekheir. Sob bekheir. Sob is Persian for morning, and bekheir means to be good. So it really means wishing you a good morning. In Persian, we don't say good afternoon or good evening very much. Good morning and good night are used more often. During the rest of the day, the most common greeting is just salam. Good night is shab bekheir. Shab bekheir. Notice that we didn't say salam before shab bekheir. That's because we don't say good night when we meet someone. It is only used when leaving. In Persian, there is only one word for saying goodbye, but there is a small difference between the formal and informal versions. Formal. Khoda hafez. Khoda hafez. Informal. Khoda fez. Khoda fez. Khoda hafez literally means may God protect you, but it is used to say goodbye. Now you have learned many different ways to greet people in Persian. Let's review them all one more time. When meeting friends or relatives, salam chetori. Salam halet chetore. When meeting a stranger, someone older, or someone we don't know well, Salam, Hale Shoma Chetore. To say good morning, Salam, Sob Bekheir. To say good night, Shab Bekheir. When leaving in a formal situation, Khoda Hafez. When leaving in an informal situation, Khoda Fez. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Anita's advice. In formal situations, Persian people of the same gender commonly greet each other by shaking hands. However, if we meet someone we are very friendly with, we hug and kiss each other on both cheeks. Don't be afraid to do this with your Persian friends. And don't be shocked when someone from the same gender tries to hug you or kiss your cheeks. It's perfectly normal. Remember that this is only if both people are the same gender. In Persian-speaking countries like Iran, 
you cannot shake hands or hug and kiss a person from the other gender in public. During the next lesson, we'll learn the meaning of the phrase Ingilisi sohbat ne mikonid. Do you already know what this means? I'll be looking forward to talking about it with you in our next Persian in three minutes lesson. Odafez! Salam Bahamegi. Man Anita Hasta. Hi everybody, I'm Anita. Welcome to PersianPod101.com's Persian in 3 minutes. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Persian. In the last lesson, we learned several of the most common greetings in Persian. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we're going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking in Persian, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're asking, even if their answer is no. Here's the informal and easy way to say it. Ingilisi baladi. Ingilisi baladi. In Persian, balad means can or to be able to. Adding e to the end makes it an informal question. Ingilisi baladi means can you speak or communicate in English? Literally, it's can you English? However, this is only used in very informal situations with close friends. Now we're going to make this sentence more polite by simply adding it to balad instead of e. It becomes a slightly more formal question. Ingilisi baladit. Ingilisi baladit. But it's always a good idea to be as polite as possible when addressing strangers. Here's the most polite form. Aya shoma ingilisi sohbat mikonid? Aya shoma ingilisi sohbat mikonid? Let's pay close attention to a useful new word here. Aya is a question word used at the start of sentences to turn a regular sentence into a yes or no question. Aya shoma ingilisi sohbat mikonid means do you speak English? By adding bebakhshid or excuse me, the sentence becomes even more polite. Bebakhshid, aya shoma ingilisi sohbat mikonid? Bebakhshid, aya shoma ingilisi sohbat mikonid? If someone replies to you in English, you'll know the answer to your question is yes. But if they answer you in Persian, you might receive one of these responses. Bale. Yes. Bale. Yek kami. A little. Yek kami. Na, man ingilisi sohbat nemikona. No, I cannot speak English. Na, man ingilisi sohbat nemikona. Or, na, man ingilisi balad nista. No, I can't speak English. Na, man, ingilisi, balad, nista. Since this last example is a negative reply to a yes or no question, we need to say na, meaning no, at the beginning of the sentence. We also said nemikona, meaning don't, after the verb sohbat, meaning talk or speak. Or nistam, meaning am not after the verb balad, meaning can. Combined with sohbat, meaning talk or speak, now you know that sohbat nemikonam means I don't speak, and sohbat mikonid means you speak. Also, nistam is actually the negative version of hastam, but it looks slightly different in the negative form. Verbs and phrases change depending on the person speaking. Now it's time for Anita's advice. Persian people study the English language at school and love to use English, so most people will understand you if you speak to them in simple English. For those of you whose native language is not English, you can use this same basic question for any language you need. Here are some other language names in Persian. Italiai, for Italian. 
روسی for Russian اسپانیایی for Spanish and آلمانی for German In this lesson, we mentioned that the expression ببخشید means excuse me. But did you know that this could also be used as an apology? In the next lesson, we will learn this and other ways to apologize in Persian. It's never too late to show your good manners when speaking with Persian people. I'll see you in our next Persian in 3 minutes lesson. Badafez! سلام به همگی. من آنیتا هستم. Hi everybody. I'm Anita. Welcome to PersianPod101.com's Persian in 3 minutes. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Persian. In the last lesson, we learn how to introduce ourselves in Persian. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to use good manners as you thank people. Let's get started. There are several ways to thank someone. The formal way is خیلی ممنون. خیلی ممنون. ممنون means thank you and خیلی means a lot. So خیلی ممنون is like saying thank you very much. خیلی ممنون. Now for the informal version. You could remove خیلی and just say ممنون. But let me tell you something surprising. In Persian, we usually say merci, which is the French word for thank you. Merci. We don't have time to discuss the origins of why we say merci in Persian, but it's an informal and relaxed way to say thanks. How should you respond when someone says thank you? There are basically two different ways to say you're welcome. The first is خواهش میکنم. خواهش میکنم. خواهش میکنم literally means please. That's what it means in regular usage, but when used in this way, it is the equivalent of saying you're welcome. The other way to say you're welcome is the expression قابلی نداره. قابلی نداره. Literally, this phrase means this worth is nothing or it was nothing. But it has become a common and polite way to respond to someone thanking you. So, when someone says merci to you, you can simply reply with خواهش میکنم or قابلی نداره. Now it's time for Anita's advice. If merci seems too casual, don't worry too much about it. In Persian, merci can be used with just about anyone, anywhere, and at any time. Do you know what Khoda Hafez means? In our next Persian in 3 minutes lesson, you'll learn this and other greetings in Persian. Khoda Hafez! سلام به همگی. من آنیتا هستم. Hi everybody. I'm Anita. Welcome to PersianPod101.com's Persian in 3 minutes. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Persian. In the last lesson, we learned some words used when apologizing in Persian, including ببخشید and لطفاً. In this lesson, we are going to learn numbers in Persian. Yes, numbers. اعداد from 1 to 10. And you are going to learn them in only 3 minutes. Said Are you ready? Let's start. Yek. Yek. Do. Do. Se. Se. Chahar. Chahar. Panj. Panj. Shish. Shish. Half, half, hasht, hasht, no, no, da, da. Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. Yek, do, se. Chahar. 
پنج شش هفت هشت نه ده Great job! What is before yek? Do you know? It's sefr. Sefr. You don't have any more excuses. You can give your friends your cell phone number in Persian. Let's try it together. We'll use the phrase shomareya man, which means my number is. You say the numbers after that, and then finish by saying as. Shomareya man. As. Shomare man, sefr, no, yek, do, se, se, hasht, haft, chahar, panj, as. Can you read it by yourself? Shomare man, sefr, no, yek, do, سه، سه، هشت، هفت، چار، پنج، اس. Perfect. Now it's time for Anita's advice. You can give your phone number like this, but be careful because it's more common to group the numbers in Persian. For example, this phone number would probably be read as 0-912-338-0-912-338-0-912-338-0-912-338-0-912-338-0-912-338-0-912-338-0-912-338-0-912-338-0-912-338-0-912-338-0-912-338-0-912-338-0-912-338-0-912-338-0-912-338-0-912-